Uh, hey, what's going on, guys? So I was just reading something this morning just uh, as a word of encouragement. I wanted to share it with you guys very briefly. Uh, we're living in times right now that I've talked a lot about where a lot of us have a pharisaical, a Sadducee-type mindset, and we're very legalistic. And a lot of us are going to brush it off, and we're going to say, oh, no, no, it's not me. I'm Christ-like and blah, blah, blah. But a lot of us can get, uh, fall into that very easily, very quickly. We can be judgmental and we can ask um, for evidence of things. And that's what this passage is, is uh, partly talking about. Jesus rebukes the Pharisees uh, in uh, Matthew chapter 16 when he says, uh, When it is evening, you say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and threatening. Hypocrites, you know how to discern the sky, face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the times. A wicked and adulterous uh, generation seeks after a sign, and no sign shall be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. And then he left them and departed. And Jesus here has a special word as he rebukes and is so firm on the Pharisees. And of all groups of people, when he ministers, he says a lot and most fiercely against the Pharisees. And he says things to those that uh, don't believe. He says a lot of things to those that, you know, might be in sin. But in particular, these people who are so-called, um, you know, I guess in a modern day time, so-called Christians. And they may be believers. They may be people that are, um, you know, godly in some sense. But their heart is twisted and they do more harm right now. And they do good for the church and for the community at large because for many things, they they ask for signs. They ask for these uh, signals and these um, points or, or evidence of different things. And there's so many people, they can't let go of the way that God is, of how God is working and the, and the move of God, the Holy Spirit that's moving and so many ways that people, whether they're young, they're old, they're different or whatever, there are so many people that say, um, you know, it's we can tell this or that. But then, uh, you know, the way that you're doing things, the way that uh, it's uh, happening according to what we believe, that's not correct. And they give all these different excuses. They do say all these different things. Uh, but really, it's the same thing that Jesus is targeting right now is that they don't know how to discern the signs of the times. They don't know to, uh, know how to see it from potentially how God may be working, even though it might be different from somebody else's eyes, from the um, the Pharisees' eyes. And so, you know, I yell a lot and I talk a lot about the Pharisaical heart, but that's what the Lord has been putting on my heart um, over the past year to, uh, in part, as part of this channel. But you got to look out, right? You got to look out for yourself and say, man, am I looking at what God is doing and saying, no, give me a, give me a sign. I want to see something, uh, evidence of something before I believe what's going to happen. Uh, I want to see how it's going to work on, on paper. And I want to make it logical so that it makes sense to me. Otherwise it doesn't make, it's not a move of God. And just because you don't see it tangibly, just because you don't believe it has, uh, hap it has to happen a certain way doesn't mean it is of God. And that's the problem we have right now. A lot of people, they're lacking faith. They're lacking uh, the spiritual eyes to see something as opposed to looking at it in their own view. And a lot of people are going to be humbled. They're going to be very shocked when different things happen, when things happen in your life or in somebody else's life and how God is moving and using them in, their, in certain ways, uh, only to think that, yeah, the, uh, the process should have been this way, but they, they didn't see it the way. They thought and they just write it off. And that's how God is humbling many people right now. He's uh, he's saying just like how he said um, there's no sign except the sign of the prophet Jonah. He's not going to show you how God, how he's moving because it's not going to even uh, click for you. It's not going to register in your mind that that's what God is doing. And so it's going to be even uh, very pointless for him to use you, use your ministry and use the things um, that are around you. And God is going to uh, do things no matter what. He's always going to be working. He's going to be using the people he needs to use. And whoever is going to humble themselves before the Lord and whoever is going to see him 
in, uh, in, in that open light as opposed to their own calculated, their own structured, their own process uh, instead of seeing it that way, God's going to use other things and other people and other methods and ways. Again, it's not outside of what Scripture says. It's not some new thing. It's not some satanic new religion or something like that. It's how God is working, but he's using people that don't seem qualified. They're, it's unorthodox. He's going to use a lot of different things. And um, because you don't know how to discern the times and you don't know how to see how God is moving and you're just calculating and wanting it to be a certain way, a certain sign, a certain whatever, it's not going to make sense to you. And so for these people, just like how God was or Jesus was rebuking these people, for you too, even though uh, I'm saying things on this channel, many other people are saying things and for whatever or however other ways God's rebuking you, it's not going to click for you because you haven't humbled yourself and you haven't uh, or not maybe not even you guys as in all all of the viewers but for these kinds of people it's not going to make sense for them and so I just want to encourage you guys with this because many people can fall uh, victim and can be trapped in that mentality uh, even on a day-to-day -day basis you could be good and then one day you can literally slip into this it's not uh, a continuous thing sometimes it doesn't have to be years and years that you're Pharisee for for a lot of people it is but you could fall into this trap in one day and for a moment, for an instance. And you could be a Pharisee and you can have this heart of, of give me a sign, let me see something. I, I wanna make sure that it makes sense to me as opposed to having faith, trusting him and seeing and admitting that God could be working in a different way. And so uh, I want to encourage you guys to be cognizant of it and for other people to be praying for these kinds of people, the modern day Pharisee, and that's, not a good place to be. It's one of the worst places, uh, or rather it's one of the types of people that Jesus was most strict on. And so God bless you guys. Have a good Sunday, and I will talk to you guys very soon.